So I just left Spaceship Earth and now I'm heading over to the land to ride Soren. I have a fast pass for that. The Epcot fast passes are tiered because there aren't a lot of attractions here that have fast passes. And there are, um, you know, if they did like, you could fast pass everything, they probably all get booked up. So you can only choose one top tier fast pass and that was Soren. And then the secondary ones were like, you know, Spaceship Earth and like the Seas with Nemo and Friends and a couple others. Like I said, there aren't many. Uh, the other top tier ones would have been Test Track and Mission Space, I think. So I don't ride those, but I do ride Soarin'. So we'll head over to the land and go Soarin' over California because I think the next time I come, hopefully I can come again, they are changing the movie and it's gonna be Soarin' over the world. So this will probably be my last chance to see Soarin' over California. Test track standby, 90 minutes, yikes. Let's see what the Soren standby is. Da, 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 da. Circle of life open, shocker. Only 10 minutes to get the sea as the female friends, that's not bad. 50 minutes for Soren. And I've got a fast pass. Flight Attendant Patrick. Thank you, and as always, enjoy your flight. Hello, and welcome to Soar. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your Chief Flight Attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. Cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. Nice work, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Okay, room one, follow me, room yeah, two, follow room one. have a nice flight. Attention passengers, we are now ready for boarding, beginning with row one, followed by two, and then three. So we just got out of Soren. Normally I always ride Living with the Land too, but I'm gonna come back here on Thursday, so I think I'll do that then. Raining slightly, but again, feels so good. Now I'm going to head into World Showcase. It's almost 11, that's when World Showcase opens. The Food and Wine Festival booths will open, and more importantly, or most importantly, the Cronut Stand will be open. It's time for Croissant Donut. So I'm walking, walking, 
building up an appetite. I am kind of hungry. Although I need a cronut, I think, even if I wasn't. I love the rain. I never thought I would say that, but I absolutely love this rain. It's really helping a lot to make it more bearable. Because when it's not raining, then that humidity is just like, Ooh. at least when it's raining and you're kind of, you know, getting little drops of rain and stuff on you, it doesn't look like you're a sweaty mess. It's just like, no, I got rained on. I'm not a disgusting sweaty mess. This is rain. Oh, I love the fountains. That's the Imagination Pavilion. There's the uh, Michael Jackson thing, Yawn, Eeyore, Captain Eo, I don't know. And then the Figment Ride, I don't like that. They're boring. I'm sorry if I offended you and you like those, but anyway. Um, and then those are the pavilions. There's lots of um, kind of educational stuff. A lot of uh, school groups come to Epcot and go through those pavilions. I mean, they're interesting anyway. You know, if you have time and you want to walk through all kinds of exhibits and stuff. Um, but yeah, I am headed to one of my favorite places in the entire world of Earth, and that's World Showcase at Epcot. All the countries, and of course, like I said, food and wine going on. You can see the peak of America, way in the distance. We're starting to get some of the food and wine booths open. This is the Chew Lab, the TV show, The Chew. Got some specialty booths going for that. Everybody's so afraid of the rain. There's the monorail. I love the rain. And then we hop ahead is World Showcase. There's already a line for the cheese studio booth. These people know what a good thing is. But I'm going to head to the cronut first. It's breakfast after all. We can't start with cheese. We gotta start with the croissant donut. And then we'll come back for cheese. Thank you. So Thank here's you. the croissant donut. And the rain is starting to load up again. Just in time. So I can eat this. Oh my gosh, so good. It's a croissant made into a donut. And in cinnamon sugar. Oh, excuse me while I eat. So that was the refreshment port with the cronut. So good. And the cheese booth is back that way, but I'm just gonna continue on this way because the cheese booth is kind of near the entrance. So if I want it as I'm leaving, I can get it done. We'll go over here, see better of the World Showcase Pavilions. That's the American Pavilion. My, one of my favorite attractions, American Adventure. It's one of the boats, this boat goes around World Showcase, so like you could board it over there, take it over here. It's another fun way to get around, relax, enjoy the view. I think I'll call Papa, see what he's doing. I can get a little shade here, under a tree maybe. <laughs> here is the Canada Pavilion. There's the La Cellier Steakhouse, which is very popular. And gardens, they have a Circle Vision movie. I'm gonna go in here and check out the shops. A lumberjack show which I've never seen a lot of this stuff I see on YouTube Well, here's the Ireland booth where they have cheese. I must stop for the cheese. I just, I have to. Even though I had cheese for dinner, I'm not gonna have cheese again for lunch. Because the cronut was breakfast, or not lunch. <laughs> you just come in here and you order, and then you pick it up over there. That's how all the booths work. 
So you got the cheese plate, and then the warm chocolate pudding, and it's raining again. I might need to get an umbrella, this is getting difficult. How appropriate that we're now in England and it's raining. This is getting kind of miserable, I have to admit. <laughs> I need to find an umbrella. The cheese was very good, but the warm chocolate pudding was, oh my goodness. And they're nice portions, you know, you get like a few bites and that's enough. So you have plenty of room to eat more later. There's several shops in England and they all kind of run together, so at least they can get out of the rain for a little while. Hi, Max. I miss you. I miss Lucy too. The best souvenirs to get are the candies in the country. They're easy to take home, they're inexpensive. You can get a few different things. Definitely gonna pick some stuff up. Fifteen bucks, well worth it. <laughs> I am soaked. Much better. Wish I would have known they had umbrellas sooner. I know they had ponchos, but I didn't know they sold umbrellas. I kind of didn't want to wear a poncho because it's hot, but this shall do. So now I can walk to France. I love this bridge area as you cross into France from the England Pavilion. I got a bunch of candy at the England Pavilion. It was like 53 bucks. <laughs> but I definitely want, you know, things I can take home to my dad that he'll enjoy. So I got one of each kind of candy bar they had. So I'll show you that when I get back to the room or maybe I'll just do a Disney haul when I get home. Maybe I'll just do that. It'd be more fun. A dedicated Disney haul. Um, thank you. God, I got this umbrella because I tell you what, I was trying to be positive and you know, little sprinkles of rain were fine, but it's just been kind of a constant downpour for a while and I am soaked to the bone. <sighs> I really don't want to get sick. <laughs> uh, but it, you know, it's not cold, it's still warm, so it shouldn't hopefully affect me too badly. But uh, maybe I can dry off a bit now. So I went to that World Traveler store over there. They were selling umbrellas and ponchos like they were going out of style. She's like, this is the last box of umbrellas. <laughs> Give me one. There you can see over there is Japan. Um, and then America. And then that is Italy. And then Germany. And then over there you have Norway, or China, Norway, Mexico. So let's go to France. It is extremely hard to hold a shopping bag, an umbrella, and a camera. <laughs> but here we are in France. There's one of the uh, booths. They have a creme brulee and a escargot. There's the restaurants. I think I'll go in those on Thursday, the uh, shops and things in France. I'm just gonna head over here. I really wanna get to the American Pavilion. Get inside, watch the American Adventure. There's the crepes stand up ahead. My dad loves their ice cream. I just called him. Everything's going well at home. He would definitely not be able to handle this in the rain, so I'm glad he is home safe and sound. There's a couple of the food booths, Rio de Janeiro, Belgium, they have lots of waffles. And then we are entering Morocco. 